Here with Jabari Bird, uh, shooting guard, freshman this year. How you doing, Jabari? Uh, pretty good. Just have practice and uh, have class after. So you um, are coming in as a freshman this year, and in basketball as opposed to football, you have a chance to get acclimated in school and and uh, practice a little bit, but not get fully into it right away. How has it been adjusting as a student? Uh, adjusting as a student, it's been pretty smooth. You know, I went to a really good high school in uh, Salesian High, and uh, I'm just trying to handle my business every day, and I get the work done, so I have time for basketball. Do uh, do all the freshmen come in for summer bridge like football players do? Uh, yes, all the, the whole entire freshman class is in summer bridge, and uh, that was a rough six weeks for us. Is it a good good to get a jump on the units and get acclimated at least without all the pressures of school? Uh, definitely, because like, we had a head start, and uh, coming into the fall, we had an idea what school was going to be like. So you're coming in with a big class, five guys. What's that been like for you? Have you guys gotten pretty close in the process? Uh, we got extremely close, and uh, it's a good experience to have guys to piggyback off of like every day. It's not just you and another guy shooting for the guy. So it's like some days everybody's feeling good, others everybody's not, and then you have guys who are and who aren't. And uh, when you have that, it's a it's a good environment because you can always go to somebody for help. And who are the uh, the characters of the class? Who are the guys that crack you guys of the up? Class. Uh, the whole entire class is pretty funny, but uh, I'll probably say Jordan Matthews. He's he's definitely the class clown for our recruiting class, and uh, everybody has good personalities, and we're we're kind of uh, forming really good chemistry right now. So you came in with a lot of accolades. You were uh, an All American, McDonald's All American. Got to play in that big game for the first time a cow recruit in about a decade or so. What was that experience like for you? you had a nice game. Uh, it was it was a fun event, you know. I didn't really play too much, but I went out there and tried to do the best I could. And uh, it, just, it was a great, it was a great experience. Uh, it was the first time multiple guys from the barrier made it in a couple of years, so that was great for the Bay Area too. So talking about Bay Area recruits, you're kind of along the lines of, of Jason Kidd and Leon Poe before you, and Andy Ibaka, uh, star players that stayed home to play with Cal. Is that kind of a point of pride for you? Uh, it definitely is. That's one of the reasons why I came here. Uh, I noticed a lot of guys, top recruits from California, North Cal- Northern California, uh, they weren't staying home. So I kind of want to uh, change that trend and uh, switch it up and go to Cal. Would it be extra gratifying if you help lead this team to uh, a Pac-12 championship and to go deeper in the NCAA tourney? Of course, that's why I'm here. Yeah. So um, coming into this team, the five of you, it's it's kind of unique that you all sort of have different roles and different positions, which is ideal uh, to be able to bring in five guys for each of the spots. How does the, the team envision using you? How has Coach talked to you about using you this year? Uh, they just want to make sure I stay aggressive and I have a good shot, take it. Uh, just go out there and make plays, you know, like don't don't be one-dimensional player. Make plays on the offensive end and the defensive end and just be aggressive. Now, a couple of years ago, they changed the rule where you couldn't come out of high school and go straight to the, the NBA. Have you ever thought about, you know, if those rules hadn't changed, would you have tested the waters, what it would have been like coming in as such a young guy? Uh, definitely not. At this stage of my career, I don't think I'm ready for the NBA. So uh, I definitely would have came to college anyway. And along those lines, what do you say to those people that say, oh, Jawari's going to be around for a couple of years and he's going to bolt right away? Uh, I don't really have too much to say, to say about it. I mean, it's just people's opinions. Uh, we won't know until the season starts when I start producing. Are you having fun out there? Definitely. I love the guys on my team. What uh, What can Cal fans expect to see from both you and the team this year, you think? Uh, fun, exciting year, and hopefully a, a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Great. Well, hey, appreciate you taking the time to talk, and good luck this year. Thank you.